hello youtube welcome to a brand new video my name is Abuzi. on today's video i'm just going to show you guys how you can add a natural looking blurry on the back of your image like this one maybe you are working with a kit lens and uh, your aperture cannot go down to that f1.8 f1.4 oh uh you're you're having a premium lens but you unfortunately or oh, you shoot the image uh with an uh, obvious background and then you find out like in my case as you can see i was having uh, softbox so due to uh, frequent uh, let me say content and where and other manipulation and then the image tends to look somehow around the area that I did uh, the content aware so what I decided to do is just to add blurry to the background and you can, uh, as you can see it kind of had the imperfection on the background of my image so without any further ado let's jump to how I created this naturally looking blurry on the background of this image. All right, after I'm done with the cropping, with the content aware, with the stretching of the sides, and then I also did frequency separation. So what I did next is I match my layer by pressing Command or Control, Alt Shift, and then E to have a solid layer above here and then I also duplicate it again by pressing command O control J and then what I did next is I select the layer above and then I go to quick selection and then I select subject so here what you are going to do is take your time and properly make selection of your subject so to make the be a video shot I already have my selection saved here so let's go to load selection and then subject so as you can see i properly took my time and select my subject so take your time and do that so what we are going to do is we are going to um add layer marks to the layer above and then we can name it to our subject as you can see all right on the layer below we are going to also go over again to selection load selection and again load the selection we did on our subject so here what we are going to do is we are going to expand the selection by going to select modify and then we hit on expand and then we can use between 10 to 15 and then we hit on expand Not, uh, notice we create we expand the selection we create extra space between our subject and the selection as you can see even around the outfit, armpit here as you can see we create extra space between the selection and our subject so let's put the zoom so what i did on this layer is i go to edit and then i go to fill and then i toggle to content aware and then i hit content aware and hide or get rid of the subject on this particular layer all right so if we had layer uh, the subject layer above you find out our subject on the layer below is gone so what we are going to do is we are going to press command or control d to the select and then we we'll also name the layer below as background as you can see so what we are going to do to the background layer is uh, first going to uh, enable our subject layer and bring it back and then we are going to make sure we are selecting our background layer and then we go to filter we go to uh, blur gallery and then we hit on tilt shift all right uh, what you are going to understand here is from this point that I'm moving upward represent the blurry on the background of your image so from this point to the top the blurry increases gradually and then from this point to the bottom is where we represent the intense of the blurry on the foreground of your image so from this point moving forward the blurry increases gradually i hope you understand so what you're going to do here here is to click on this dot and then keep it exactly where your focus on so like in my case my focus on is uh, is on the subject that's where i want to keep my focus so i'm going to place it just exactly where she's standing as you can see and then here also you can control the movement of the blurry so as you can see you can increase uh, you can control how the blurry in uh, gradually increase the uh, its intensity by moving these sliders as you can see so what we are going to do 
is we are going to increase the blurry over here as you can see the blurry is increasing and then if you move these sliders also you can clearly see how i'm con controlling how the blurry gradually increases to the background so just take your time and carefully shift these sliders until you are pleased with how the movement of the blurry is flicking on your image all right i think we can leave it like this so you can also move this white on this cycle and increase or reduce the blurry as you can see all right we can keep it like this and then we hit on ok all right as you can see here's the before after before and after as you can see the imperfection on the area that i did content aware of my image is gone so that's one of the uh, advantage of adding adding this uh, blurry on the background of my image and then another extra tip is if you zoom on the image you may find out some areas that are looking like kind of sharp it's not looking natural like if you look at this area of our armpit the edges are too sharp so what i usually do on this kind of situations is i'll just select the layer above and then i also match and create a new solid layer above by pressing command or control alt shift and then e as you can see here we have a new matched visible layer so what we are going to do is i'm just going to zoom to the areas where we are having sharp edges and then we select our blurry tool here we select our uh, strength to like 30 i think 30 is good enough and then we use our our brush uh blurry brush here blurry tool here around the edges that are sharp and then we reduce the intensity of the sharpness so as you can see just going to gradually brush not too much not too little you just have to brush softly as you can see as you can see this area too you just need to brush it very lightly so if you zoom in and do before and after on this layer we add the blurry on the edges you see the difference before after before and after so basically that's how i naturally add blurry on the background of my image if you learn something please don't forget to like share and leave a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel see you on the next one